So you read the title and you're ready to be a Reddit keyboard warrior. But, but before you do that, just hear me out, right? Now, as somebody who loves games and is an enthusiast, it's incredible to see a game reach such stardom. Minecraft is absolutely incredible and it's the best selling game of all time. I don't think it's too hard to explain why. You see, Minecraft is made out of blocks. I'm pretty sure every human on the planet knows that. But it's the sole reason that Minecraft is, well, Minecraft. You see, the world being divided into millions of blocks makes it so that you can totally manipulate the world. The freedom to pick something up and put it down, no, the freedom to pick anything up and put it down anywhere else is an ability that gives the player total control. That ability coupled with infinite world generation made it so that there are infinite possibilities. That level of potential depth from that simple of a mechanic is simply amazing. From a game design standpoint, Minecraft is a canvas on which the Mona Lisa can be painted. And that doesn't even talk about the capabilities of Redstone. Although we can't quite talk about depth until there are goals, right? What's the point of Minecraft is a very common question. You have a world and mechanics, now get the player to use it. So there's a health bar and dangers presented by the dark. Okay, we have a reason to act, what do we do? Well, we need shelter, that's a reason to build, and we need tools, gear, that's a reason to mine. Resource management in the most hands-on way. So then, Minecraft is about survival, or is it? Minecraft will always have its crown, but it's lost its relevance. Why? Well, you see, Minecraft had the advantage of originality. We all have the novelty of finding our first diamond, but that's not so true anymore. We found diamonds hundreds of times and the game is struggling to update. You see, most of us lost interest in the game around the mid-2010s, and that's when Mojang had no idea what to do with the game. That's around 1.8. In the next four years of 1.8, Mojang added end cities, igloos, woodland mansions, and parrots. That's a very small amount of content. But Mojang had no idea what to do, because if they altered the base game too much, it wouldn't have the novelty of it being Minecraft. And so, with the most recent updates, they added stuff to explore, such as the village and pillage update, the aquatic update, the nether update. Although, again, with all of these updates, the game isn't Minecraft anymore. Now think back to when I said survival. I don't think it's appropriate to call the game survival anymore, and let me explain why. Minecraft was about survival, but it's not anymore. In fact, I believe it's inaccurate for Mojang to use that word at all. When playing Minecraft, you have a hunger bar, and it'll go down gradually. The more physical activity you do, the faster it goes down, and so you have to worry about food. The second major thing you have to worry about is the nighttime. Monsters will come out at night and they can kill you quite easily. Now, as I said, it's not about survival anymore. It used to be. You see, back then, hunger and food was much harder to get back then. Pigs were the only mom that can drop food, and the only other reliable way of getting food would be farming. And, even when you have food, you can only carry one food item per slot, not 64 like it is today. And the second thing that you have to worry about in survival Minecraft is the nighttime, which you can skip by using three wool. In fact, if you don't skip the nighttime, which by the way carries the entire challenge of the game, then phantoms will attack you. They straight up punish you for having the game challenge you. Again, just don't use beds is a terrible argument. Most people, even those aware, are going to use the easiest option out of danger regardless. Kids especially. They aren't considering the effects of beds, they're just using the tools provided to them. It was bad form to say just don't use them a few years ago, but now with phantoms it's plainly ridiculous. Removing beds isn't an option, but I'll get into that later. So then if the game isn't about survival anymore, then what is it about? Well I believe that the game is about conquest. You see, as I said before, if Mojang Kratos changed the base game, then it wouldn't be Minecraft anymore. So what they did in order to keep pushing updates and compensate for that was to add new things to explore like shipwrecks, bastion remnants, improved villages, and coral reefs, etc. And this made the game more of a find a village, mine for 20 minutes, and then explore all this new stuff. And it took Mojang a while before there was enough stuff to explore. But there's still a major flaw in this design. I believe that there used to be a difference between vanilla Minecraft and modern Minecraft. In vanilla Minecraft, there isn't much progression, you would just have to survive. Versus in modern Minecraft, where there would be a ton of progression, and instead of surviving, you would have to, you would, there would be endless stages and countless structures and dimensions. And although mods do add a ton of content to Minecraft, 
Most mods try to add things and not enhance the experience. Let's take a mod like Tekkit for example. It has tons of content. Although it doesn't fall under the medieval fantasy theme that is Minecraft. Obviously not all mods do this and some mods do enhance the experience of Minecraft, but we're talking about vanilla Minecraft. I love Skyrim, and one of the reasons I love it is because of the incredible modding community, although I don't give the developers any credit for that. Games aren't meant to be fixed by the community. So that's one argument that I hear constantly, oh just mod the game. Well I'm talking about vanilla Minecraft. I think that Minecraft can improve by having a cave update, and I know I said previously that Mojang is unable to change the progression of the game for two reasons. One is that everyone is already too familiar with the progression system, and the second reason is because Enchanted Diamond is already too overpowered and a tier above Diamond would be way too powerful. But what I think Mojang can do, and hear me out, is they can add ores similar to Netherite. These ores can enhance diamond and make it have a drop as well as a buff. For example, Ruby can buff strength by 20% but nerf speed by 15%. This would help the progression system be more engaging without completely destroying the current tier system. Okay, so you've altered Minecraft's flawed progression system and made it so there's more thought and strategy involved. But what about beds and the fact that they're too overpowered? Well, I believe removing beds just isn't plausible. Other games also offer beds as relatively early game items. But the difference in those games is that the nighttime isn't what car carries the entire danger of the game. You see, in Minecraft, danger is the entire reason that we went mining in the first place. Pillager raids aren't, are an example of a challenge. More than you could add mechanics that other survival games use as well, such as thirst or warmth, and these could also have depth and different uses for armor. The, so the progression system and the added danger go hand in hand. You can have armor that, you know, uh, makes you warm. Although, the thing most infected by new danger is building. Now, just to show that Minecraft is death, let's take desert temples for example. The goal of a desert temple is to get to the bottom and get the loot without being blown up. In a normal game, there would be an ability wheel with maybe one or two ways to get to the bottom. In Minecraft, there are hundreds of creative solutions, at least 10 of which are viable, each with benefits and drawbacks, but none of them require a whole lot of thought. Survival Minecraft somewhat indicted that. Building something that looks nice is often a minor architectural challenge, cool uses of slabs, stairs, trapdoors, and colors. Although building something that's practical is different, it typically takes a more creative manipulation of your environment. Moats, traps, walls, battlements, using mountains as cover, just a few examples. You've probably heard of a YouTuber called Mumbo Jumbo and his creations are incredible. But tell me, what in-game goals do his designs meet? Let's take a look at a house in 2012 versus today. In 2012, you might say something like, wow, she's built a lava mode, versus today, for you would say something like, oh, he's looked up a tutorial on YouTube. Slight exaggeration, but you get the point. What I'm trying to say is with the biggest challenge gone, you haven't got any reason to build anything up over the bare minimum. Let me reiterate, while you technically have more freedom today, the lack of danger gives you far fewer reasons to seize it. Minecraft was about mining and resource gathering for the sake of survival, Terraria is about defeating endless waves of ever increasing power. Although in Minecraft, with more structures being introduced where the player can investigate, conquer and or manipulate, Minecraft becomes more like Terraria. You used to spend the first few nights building and gathering, now you either do that or find one village. In my opinion, Terraria has an incredible progression system, but the main reason that I'm bringing up Terraria is not because of the progression system, which by the way, it, it implements it masterfully. The reason I'm bringing up Terraria is that the way it implements building. For those that haven't played Terraria, the game is NPCs which are gained by building housing, which in contrast to Minecraft has absolutely zero need for building. I believe that Mojang is capable of making more uses for building by making the game about survival and if they want to continue with conquest progression they can add another use for building. The bottom line with this video is that Mojang doesn't know what to do with Minecraft and it's hurting the game. They're happy to implement what would be considered mods over a huge stretch of time but when it comes to innovating or giving players a reason to use Minecraft's most engaging gameplay loops, we see nothing. They don't need to act, Minecraft is the best selling game of all time, but I still think they should. Minecraft is a remarkably special thing, I consider it to be one of the greatest games of all time and it's surprisingly deep mechanically. Although I can never be hooked for too long in this game, I find myself drifting back to games where I can blow stuff up. I love to see a graphically amazing landscape 
and although most of those games are about darkness and bloodshed and war, it's nice to have access to an experience like Minecraft. It's truly a shame that Minecraft still struggles with its reputation, although that's because of cringe, and cringe is forced upon all the games that appeal to kids. Some games deserve it, but I don't think Minecraft does. I'm making this video because I respect Minecraft as a platform. Minecraft's reputation is far from squeaky clean, but I, d but I do believe that it does deserve its fame. Thank you all for watching, and if you would like to help me continue making this content, a sub would be greatly appreciated. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll talk to you all later. Enjoy your stay.